Welcome to the channel, I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a stop loss in Coinbase Advanced Mode. If you find this helpful, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. I also have a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial on how to use Coinbase in Advanced Mode, and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. Let's get into the video. You can set a stop limit order using Coinbase Advanced, and I'll demonstrate using Bitcoin versus USDT. The first thing we need to do is come up here at the top right hand side of the screen to the order panel. We'll toggle it from limit to stop limit. Then we'll move from buy to sell. The first thing we need to do is choose a stop price. This will be a condition that tells Coinbase to place a limit order to sell our coins. So let's head on over here to the chart. And just for fun, I'll grab a horizontal from the drawing tools and I'll go ahead and mark out an area of support. Maybe somewhere right around in here. Good enough for this demonstration. When we look left, we can see a wick test of that level right here. We can see that a couple wicks got down to that horizontal here before the bulls tried to push price back to the upside. And currently, we see that level trying to hold us support once again right here. And perhaps we're thinking to ourselves, you know, if support breaks here, maybe it's going to become probable that Bitcoin's going to move to much lower price levels. So let's set a condition somewhere below support to tell Coinbase to place a limit order to sell our coins. Maybe we're looking at this wick right here. So let's go ahead and mark that with another horizontal, something like this. Now we can see on the Y axis of the chart that there's a price point correlating to that horizontal coming in at 18,098. So let's come back up here to our order panel and let's put a stop price slightly lower than that price point. Perhaps we'll go 18,010. We don't want to be too tight because we don't want price action to come down there find support and sell our coins, and then bounce to the upside. So we want to be slightly lower than that just to give it a little breathing room. Now we want to choose a price point for Coinbase to place that limit order to sell our coins. So let's head back over here to the chart. And let's just imagine that we're looking at this wick right down here. And let's go ahead and mark that with a horizontal, something like this. Now we can see on the Y axis of the chart that that wick has a price point coming in at 17,611. So we'll come back up here to the order panel and let's type that into limit price, 17,611. Next, you need to choose the amount of the asset that you wish to sell if your limit order gets placed. You can do that by typing in a custom amount right here, or alternatively, you could just use this slider bar. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and slide this to 100%. Once you get the order panel set up the way that you want it, simply click on sell. Then you'll get a stop limit alert, confirming the details of your order. In my case here, if the last trade price goes below 18,010, an order to sell Bitcoin will be placed at 17,611. If the details are what you intended, you just simply click on place order. Now we've placed our stop limit. If price action gets down to $18,010, Coinbase is going to place a limit order to sell our Bitcoin at 17,611 or better from the order book. If at any point you want to cancel this order, just come down below here, right under status, you'll see it says active. Simply click on active, and then in this pop-up window, click right here where it says cancel order. Now I've canceled that stop limit. And there you have it. That's how you can set up a stop loss using Coinbase in advanced mode. If you found that helpful, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also feel free to check out my other Coinbase tutorials. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.